Now, in chapter 12 of Numbers, we read like this. And Miriam and Aaron spake against Moses because, the, because of the Ethiopian woman whom he had married, for he had married an Ethiopian woman. Mm. Yes. Now here we find a problem among even these men in responsibility. Aaron and Miriam had problem. And what happened was still, and they said, Had the Lord indeed spoken only by Moses? Had he not spoken also by us? And the Lord heard it. And as we heard yesterday, those who fear the Lord, they spoke one to another, and the Lord heard it. Wherever it may be, it may be in this hall, it may be inside the bathrooms, wherever we talk, the Lord heard it. <laughs> Amen. We need to know this, the Lord will hear it. Yes. The Lord heard the conversation of these two people. Now remember one thing that Aaron had not seen what Moses had seen. Aaron was to receive it from Moses. Now Moses was in a very envious position according to the modern language. <laughs> Yeah. Now what can Moses do about it? He was one who ran away. Never wanted to take up this responsibility. He wanted to save Israel and finally he had to save himself. <laughs> He is trying to interpret my meaning <laughs> and then translate. Don't do that. <laughs> he wanted to save Israel and finally he had to save himself. He ran to save himself. So he had nothing to do with God and God's people. He ran away. But there was a heart that desired for God's purpose for his people. So he never wanted to take up this responsibility. But he saw the, the Lord in the bush. <laughs> Moses had seen many many bushes burning and he saw the bushes turning into ashes. But he saw once in his life the burning bush was burning but the bush never turned into ashes. That began to draw him towards that. I want to tell you there is only one fire that will not turn you into ashes. And that is the God who is a burning fire. You know, and I want to tell you that was the beginning where Moses began to see God and God's purpose. You know, so Moses did not take it up by himself. And that is why the scripture says, and God heard it. God heard it. These people were talking ill of God's man and God heard it. 
ഈ ദൈവത്തിന്റെ മനുഷ്യന് വിരോധമായിട്ട് അവർ സംസാരിച്ചുണ്ടെന്ന് യഹോബാദ് കേട്ടു നൗ ദ ഹാഡ് എ റീസൺ ടു ടോക്ക് അഗൈൻസ്റ്റ് ദിസ് മാൻ ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് ബിക്കോസ് ഹി മാരീഡ് എൻ എത്യോപിയൻ വുമൻ ദാറ്റ് വാസ് ഗുഡ് എനഫ് ടു ടോക്ക് അബൌട്ട് ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് ഈ ദൈവം മനുഷ്യന് വിരോധമായിട്ട് സംസാരിക്കാൻ ഒരു ശരിയായ കാരണം ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു കാരണം കൂശ സ്ത്രീ ആയ കല്യാണം കഴിച്ചു അങ്ങനെ വർത്താനം പറയണ്ടെങ്കിൽ പിന്നെ എന്തിനാ കൂശ സ്ത്രീ കല്യാണം കഴിച്ചേ നിനക്ക് കല്യാണം കഴിക്കാൻ എനിക്ക് സംസാരിക്കാം That was their logic. So in their eyes and in their uh, minds, Moses did a wrong thing, so they had a right to talk about it. Why not? Yeah. Moses did a wrong thing, so they had a right to talk about it. Yes. Now, you see, sometimes for the modern people, uh people the language may look funny but that is the way god expresses really read verse 1 on now and miriam and aaron spoke against moses because of the ethiopian woman whom he had married for he had married are already it is said but why it is being said again for he had married an ethiopian woman <laughs> that is the way the holy spirit says repeatedly saying that was their emphasis he made a mistake in their eyes moses made a mistake so we will talk about it avarude kannugalil moses er thetti cheyadu adondu njan samsarikkunnu nanu avar parannathu but ennal in the eyes of god yehovaeda kannugal moses had not committed anything yehovaeda kannugal avan yadru thetti cheyadirunnu In the eyes of God the things were so different. Devathinte kannugal kaaryam thekkum vyathasam aayirunnu. I want to tell you it is God who forgives us. Devamana namai kshamikkunnathu. Amen. It is Christ who died for us as Paul says in Romans chapter 8. Romalayan 8th adhyayathil parannu vara Christu aanu namakku. It is God who justifies us. Amen. Namai nee nigarikkunnavan devamana. Yes or no? It is God. It is God who cleanses us. Namai vishuddhikarikkunna devamana. It is God who justifies us. Namai needhikarikkunna devamana. If God be for us, who can be against us? Devam namada varshathundanga. Now I am not saying therefore we can do what we want to do. I hope you understand. Yan adondu parayana namada namaku ishtamulla namaku cheyan kariyam. So we see here that Aaron and Miriam had a genuine reason perhaps in their own way in their own eyes to criticize Moses and say can only god speak through him why not through us has he not spoken to us also moshe ki virodhamaya samsarikkunnathu miriamano aharonu seriyaya kaaranam undayirunnu moshe edu maatrame deivam arli cheyittullo njangalod arli cheyittillo ennokke avarku thonni so they judged him avar avane yayam vidhi moses was wrong but god was on his side moses moses was wrong in their eyes avare kannugal moses thettu karanayirunnu ennal deivam avante pakshathu undayo they judged him avar avane nyayam vidichu they envied him avar avane virodhamayitta suya and they began to say had only god spoken through him moses mukhandara maatrame arli cheyittullo ennu avaru chodichu yes and the lord heard it they were good verse 3 that's that's really bless my heart mona mark now the man moses was very weak meek about all the men which are upon the face of the earth moses enna purushana bhoodalathilulla sagala manushyarum adhi saumyanai sagala manushyarum amen now in the eyes of the lord though moses had married an ethiopian woman God saw him as the meekest man in the earth. Hallelujah. Moses had pushed his three wives and married them. Yes. Logatrulla ella manushulla adi swamiyana irani Jehovah avane kandu. Amen. Are you upset? Are you upset with God's word? <laughs> Let us make enough room for change. നമ്മുടെ ജീവിതത്തിൽ മാറ്റത്തിന് നമുക്ക് ഒരുക്കമുള്ളവരാകും 
look like that he is a man with a rod of course he had the rod with him enala devu aanu koduthu uttara vaadatha kaaranam kaiyile vadi pidichavane bodalayirunnu mosha mosha kai vadiyum undayi amen but he was the meekest man enala avan adi swamiyana manushana who says this idu aaranu parayunnu not man manushana alladhu parayunnu but god God who searches the hearts and the reins of all men upon this earth certifies and says he is the meekest man on the earth ee bhoomiyil ella manushana hridayangaleyum hridayangale hridayathulla ninavugaleyum okke aarai aarai arinavanai deivam aanu parannathu mosha ella manushana and i want to tell you brothers and sisters in this calling in christ jesus we do not go by the opinions of men we are concerned about God's opinion, God's approval over our lives. Karthavilulai kevilil manishan na abhipraya prakara anna naam ungoattu bohundu. Yes. Ennal devathin namay kurichula abhiprayam deiva namay kuriche vechirikinna. You know, and I want to tell you that is what is sustaining me even this day in my life. Enna jeevathin enna enna parivalikinna thana. If we had gone by the opinions of men and the words of men, I don't think I would have survived and I would be able to stand here and share God's word with you. മനുഷ്യന്റെ അഭിപ്രായത്തിനനുസരിച്ചോ മനുഷ്യൻ പറഞ്ഞ കാര്യങ്ങൾക്ക് അനുസരിച്ചോ ഞാൻ പോയിരുന്നത് വരെ ഈ സ്ഥാനത്ത് നിന്ന് ദൈവത്തിന്റെ വചനം സംസാരിക്കുവാൻ എനിക്ക് കഴിയും what a testimony before god now the man moses was very meek about all men most of the testimony is that the sagala manushya radisomenai kartavanda saakshyathu nokku dear brothers and sisters We see very clearly that God had given him a responsibility. Devam or utravad the God had shown him many things. Avana deiva dinangalukayitta pala kaaryangale deivam kaanichu. But yet he was very meek. Engilum avan valare saumiyulavanai. Remember one thing. Oru kaaryathe or meekness is towards men. Humility is before God. നമ്മുടെ though he has a great responsibility given thanike veliya utravadam devathal nalgapettirunnarilum mattullavaroda avan valare saumyade ullavanayiru so we see here very clearly that israel envied against this man ee manushinu virodhamayitta israel asuye pettu vannu namude kaanu yes Now as you read further on there is something that really blessed my heart and the hrudaya the valare and now saints this these scriptures here is not just for one man here or some people it's for all of us ee vadanam chillarkayittullavalle namak ellavarkum aayittullada yes while we are given while we give ourselves to this calling there will be many things that will be spoken about you and me ഈ വിളിക്ക് നമ്മെ തന്നെ ഏൽപ്പിച്ചുകൊടുക്കുമ്പോൾ നമ്മെ കുറിച്ച് പല കാര്യങ്ങളും many many things will be spoken of you and me നിങ്ങളെ കുറിച്ച് എന്നെ കുറിച്ച് പല കാര്യങ്ങളും പറയും they are proud people they think themselves as they are the only ones നിങ്ങൾ അഹന്തയുള്ളവരാണ് can god speak to us also ദൈവത്തിന് ഞങ്ങളോട് do you think god is not in our midst ദൈവം ഞങ്ങളുടെ മധ്യത്തിൽ only when we come and worship with you that we can worship the lord നിങ്ങളുടെ മധ്യത്തിൽ വന്നാൽ മാത്രമേ ദൈവവോട് കാണൂ there are so many things that we hear ഇങ്ങനെ പല കാര്യങ്ങളും നാം കേൾക്കാറുണ്ട് but remember one thing നാളെ ഒരു കാര്യം ഓർക്കുക god will hear everything that men will speak against you and നിങ്ങൾക്കും എനിക്കും വിരോധമായിട്ട് മനുഷ്യൻ സംസാരിക്കുന്ന കാര്യങ്ങളെല്ലാം 
many things I said I will come later. I hope we will do that in this kind of meetings. You know, and as we read further down, verse 4, and the Lord spoke suddenly unto Moses and unto Aaron and unto Miriam, Come out ye three in unto the tabernacle of the congregation, and the three came out. And the Lord came down in a pillar of cloud and stood in the door of the tabernacle and called Aaron and Miriam, and they both came forth. And he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I the Lord will make myself known unto him in a vision and will speak unto him in a dream. My servant Moses is not so. Amen. My servant Moses is not so. Who is faithful in all my house. With him I speak mouth to mouth. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Saints, God is sovereign. God is His sovereign ways. With His chosen vessels. Is it not true when we look at the life of the Apostle Paul? One who is born out of time. But much was given to that man. If there is a prophet amongst you, there is a way I commune with him. But with Moses, it is not so. I have my special way. I have my own way to commune with my servant Moses. I am sovereign. I will speak to him mouth to mouth. I want to tell you saints that closeness that God had with Moses was far different from normal relationship that he had. That's what he says here. It was special. It was so special. Yes. yes. And we know what happened. God's judgment came upon Miriam. I won't get into all the details there. But there's one thing that I'm, I'm prompted to share as a passing thought with us. And, and turn with me to verses 15 and 16. And I'm sure that will make some sense to all of us. And Miriam was shut out from the camp seven days. And the people journeyed not until Miriam was brought in again. Hmm. Remember saints, this kind of rebellion hinders God's people in progressing on into their purpose. Please. Oh, may the Holy Spirit inscribe that upon your hearts. Our rebellious attitudes in the local churches, our misunderstandings, our relationships which are not right with one another, all these things will hinder God's people from progressing on. Are there some takers to this word today here? Can anyone hear the voice of the Lord today here? They journeyed not until a healing took place in the life of Miriam. I want to tell you saints, you and I, we are not going anywhere until those things are settled with God and with one another. 
ായ <laughs> We have to leave our self-righteous ways. Nam nee nee vala vadivel jeevikkanda avashyamana. We have to leave our self-righteous ways. Nammada soya nee nee vala oka nam upekshikkanda avashyamana. 